Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 2021 Commencement Ceremonies for Burt Church High School. I am Paige Songhurst, and I will be your MC this evening. We'd like to begin our ceremony with the singing of O Canada. Together, we can learn to honor the ways of knowing the Indigenous peoples for all future generations. We will start off our formal greetings with our Member of Parliament, Blake Richards. First elected in 2008, Blake Richards was re-elected for a fourth time in the riding of Banff Airdrie on October 21st, 2019. Blake serves as the Chief Opposition Whip in the House of Commons. Always focused on the needs of his constituents, Blake has three times been named Canada's best constituency MP, as well as hardest working MP. He has also received the Canadian Tourism Award for his work in Parliament on behalf of tourism industry. Welcome, Member of Parliament, Blake Richards. Congratulations, grads. Uh, this school year, uh, and I guess the tail end of last year, were uh, certainly some unique circumstances for you and for many people. Um, but I wanted to take some time to share my best wishes with you and, uh, and share a few words of encouragement uh, for you as you enter the next stage of your life. Uh, I'm sure that none of you were expecting uh, this last year of high school to play out quite the way it did. And you probably weren't expecting online learning to be such a big part of uh, that final year either. But uh, I hope there's some lessons that you can take from it. And I think that it's also something that we've all sort of experienced. Uh, things have been a little bit different than any of us would have expected. And, you know, I think one of the things that we've all uh, had a lot more of in our lives than we expected was video conferencing and apps like Zoom. Uh, so even for me in my job as a member of parliament, uh, I've done a lot of meetings and a lot of parliament and virtual meetings uh, through Zoom and gotten a lot more familiar with it and become a much bigger part of my life than I would have expected too. But I think one of the things about Zoom is that actually uh, we can we can actually uh, learn a lot of lessons from it that we can apply to the rest of our life. For example, you should always be presenting yourself in, in, in the best light, uh, even when you think that nobody's looking. So you never know when that camera or that microphone might be on when you didn't realize it was. Um, so so you should always be acting the same way in private as you are in public. Uh, that shows integrity. And it also can save you a lot of embarrassment, as some people have learned on their, on their Zoom calls. Um, but integrity is what it act, actually takes for you to stand out in life and to be great in, in any community, in any relationship, and in any career. The leaders of tomorrow will be those who act with integrity. Uh, and when you know that people are looking, it's always important to try to make sure you've got a good camera and good quality sound. Uh, in other words, you want to present yourself with the respect that you wish to be treated with. Uh, you'll find much more success in life uh, 
if you if you take a few extra minutes to ensure that everything is well prepared and, and set up for you uh, properly, and that's how you'll excel. Uh, in Zoom, that means showing up on time, it means having a clear audio, maybe some good lighting. Uh, and in real life, that means studying for just a few extra hours for some exams, doing research before a job interview, and putting energy into your friendships and your relationships. And you should also know when it's time to raise your hand and to step up and be a leader. In your life, there's going to be many situations where you might feel a little bit uncomfortable uh, and you'd maybe rather stay on mute like you would on Zoom. Um, or maybe you let someone else speak. But you should always push yourself a little bit outside of your comfort zone. Uh, you should be the person that raises their hands when, when something needs a leader. Uh, stepping up and making change in the world happens by following the path of more resistance. Um, so press that raise hand button, whether it be on Zoom or in real life. Don't be afraid to speak up when you need to. However, you also need to know when to raise your hand and when to press the mute button, um, because that will serve a lot of purpose in life as well. Sometimes you're actually better off staying quiet and hearing someone else's point of view. Um, so sometimes you do need to keep yourself muted. Um, but you know, sharing your own ideas can be important, but listening to others who may disagree with you uh, will also make you better at things. Um, whether that be in your, in your education, whether that be in your relationships, or whether that be in your careers. And finally, don't be afraid to be the one that sets up the Zoom call. Uh, or any call, or meeting, or get together. Uh, that will put you in a position to succeed. It's easy to be a follower. Uh, it's easy to click on a Zoom invite. But real leaders are the ones that take charge and set up the call. So, now, you know, I'm sure that many of you will be quite thrilled to have a chance to get a break from Zoom finally as you go into your summer vacations and, and our lives slowly start to get back to normal. But I, I do hope that you can take some lessons from it and, and use them uh, and, and move forward in your chance to succeed. And of course, success comes in, in different forms for all of us. Uh, NFL player J.J. Watt, I thought he put it really well when he said one time, Success isn't owned, it's leased, and the rent is due every single day. Because anything that you want in life will take hard work, it'll take sacrifice, it'll take dedication. And success wouldn't be as sweet without the knowledge that it took some blood, sweat, and tears to get there. Because if it was easy, it wouldn't truly be an accomplishment. And being here today as graduates is one of those accomplishments. Uh, there is undoubtedly some of that blood, sweat, and tears that went into getting here today. Uh, it took hard work. It took sacrifice. It took dedication to achieve this goal, to receive a high school diploma. And I want to congratulate you all on this very important accomplishment. And, you know, with COVID uh, hopefully nearly behind us, uh, you can now begin to sort of think about and plan for the rest of your lives. So hang in there. It won't be long until bubbles only exist in a champagne glass and face masks are only worn on Halloween and waves are just for surfing in the ocean and Corona is only found in the beer aisle at the liquor store. So class of 2021, I hope that you, whatever path you take in life, that it brings you some joy and some success. And I hope that you'll always act in a way where you assume the camera and the microphone is on and that you'll know when to mute yourself. And I hope that you'll step up and raise your hand when you want to, uh, to, to make change and be the one that sets up the call and is the leader. So congratulations, class of 2021, on a job well done. And I wish you all the best for your future. Thank you, MP Richards. Next, MLA Pitt brings us greetings from the province. Angela Pitt was elected to her second term as member of the Legislative Assembly for Airdrie East. Prior to serving with the Legislative Assembly, she was a small business owner and local entrepreneur in Airdrie. During this time, she also served as president of a local constituency association and was an active volunteer in her community. Welcome, MLA Angela Pitt. 
Hello, my name is Angela Pitt, the MLA for Airdrie East, and I'm so excited to bring my sincerest congratulations to the graduating class of 2021. Your hard work and perseverance and commitment to your education over these last 12 years has resulted in you achieving this significant milestone. High school graduation is a very big deal. You worked so hard to get here and your dedication deserves to be recognized. The current circumstances should not take away from all the life-changing experiences and accomplishments you have made. Despite these unprecedented challenges, you did it through a mix of online learning and in-person classes, group chats, and at-home learning, you reached the finish line. I know it wasn't easy, but you didn't give up. You graduated and you should be proud of yourself. Today, we celebrate you. Although your graduation marks the end of your high school career, it marks an even greater beginning. Many of you preparing for life's big changes like moving away from home for the first time, pursuing post-secondary education or training, or joining the workforce. Going forward, each of you will make decisions about the direction of your life. Your choices may seem overwhelming, but this is truly an exciting time. As you navigate the world we live in, your parents and teachers know with your hard work and can-do Alberta spirit that you are ready for whatever lies ahead. The truth is, in 15 years, your life may look quite different from what you thought it would be, and that's okay. In fact, our lives look incredibly different today than they did just one year ago. And you may have managed to accomplish one or most important goals of your life during that time. I admit that when I graduated high school, I didn't imagine that in 15 years I would be a mother of two and a member of the Legislative Assembly. But my journey led me here and I couldn't be more grateful. Be hopeful, be curious, be optimistic, be excited and bravely step forward embracing all that life has for you. You will rely on your values to take you where you want to go, where you need to go and where you should be. Everyone's journey will be unique, just like your graduation. I wish you much success and happiness. So go on, be bold, and make Airdrie proud. In closing, and on behalf of the Legislative Assembly of Alberta, I want to thank you all for making this celebration possible. Graduates, we congratulate you on your achievements and wish you the very best in your journey moving forward. Now please join me in congratulating the fabulous class of 2021. Thank you, MLA Pitt. We will now hear from our school trustee, Mr. Jim Forrest. Jim Forrest, one of three trustees for Ward 3, was elected in 2017 and is in his first term. Ward 3 represents schools in the city of Airdrie. Mr. Forrest is no stranger to Rocky View Schools. As a former teacher and administrator for Airdrie for 36 years, he has dedicated himself to ensuring that Rocky View School students receive the best instruction and education possible. Welcome, Trustee Jim Forrest. My name is Jim Forrest, and as a Rocky View Airdrie School trustee and former principal of C.W. Perry, it is my honor and my privilege to bring greetings from the board to the Burt Church graduating class of 2021. Most definitely, your class has had to endure many unanticipated challenges. But moving forward, remember that despite where we are in this moment in time, it does not change the fact that you are still absolutely at that wonderful point in your lives when your entire future is spread out in front of you, ready for all that you can and will accomplish. My sincerest, heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you. Thank you, Trustee Forrest. Mayor Peter Brown will now bring us a message from the city of Airdrie. Peter Brown was first elected mayor in 2010 
and is now serving his third consecutive term. He is passionate about our community and works tirelessly on behalf of Airdrie residents and businesses. Mayor Brown is an active community leader with an interest in making the community better through volunteering. He attends over 500 events each year and is a strong advocate for seniors and youth. He enjoys visiting schools and seeing tomorrow's leaders take shape. Welcome, Mayor Peter Brown. Graduates, parents, caregivers, teachers, family, and friends, I'm Mayor Peter Brown, and on behalf of Airdrie City Council, our administration, and myself, I want to offer our sincerest congratulations on your graduation day. Today is an awesome day. I know that the last few years have been challenging and at times very frustrating. However, you've all persevered, showcasing your steadfast determination to succeed, because no matter what life brings, you will always meet obstacles. My hope is that you always overcome and be successful. I hope you can look back and reflect on these moments with pride, take the time to celebrate and recognize the last 12 years of your life. The friends you've made, the support that you've received from family and friends, and the teachers who have made their, this, guy, this journey along the way with you. Your story is just beginning. We're all looking forward to watching your success through the next phases of your life. Brought together by hard work, passion and focus, knowing that you did your best, you made choices to keep going. May you also look forward and consider how many stories have yet to be added. The world is waiting for your talents and contribution. I hope along the way you'll find purpose, joy and adventure. To the parents, caregivers, family and friends, I know you're filled with a sense of pride today. I also know it's tough not seeing your graduate walk the stage to mark this milestone. You played such an essential role in their lives, and we would be remiss to exclude what the last two years have presented. You've helped your graduate face and overcome these challenges, and now they're equipped with the resiliency and perseverance required. Teachers and administration from the bottom of our hearts, a sincere thank you for the important work you do every day. You adapted and remained flexible when your students needed you most. Your dedication helped these graduates press through the hard times. And you also modeled the commitment and grit required to accomplish the hard things. Once again, to the 2021 graduation class, whatever you choose to do from here on out, whether it's post-secondary, take full-time work, travel, make sure to consider coming back to Airdrie to buy a home, to start a family, to begin a business. As we all know, our community is better off with you in it. Remember that kindness, gratitude, and a smile are free to give, and they travel well. Congratulations to the Burt Church High School Class of 2021. Stay well and keep going. Awesome. Woohoo! Thank you, Mayor Peter Brown. Next, we will hear from our superintendent, Mr. Greg Luterbach. Arriving in Rocky View Schools in August 2016 from BC, Mr. Luterbach has brought a wealth of experience to the public K-12 education sector. Having risen up through the ranks from teacher to superintendent over the past 25 years, he is a long life learner and is passionate about public K-12 education. Welcome, Superintendent Luterbach. Welcome dignitaries, family, staff, and most importantly, graduates. It is my honor to share some greetings on behalf of the staff of Rocky View Schools. Now, because this is pre-recorded, I thought it'd be better to shorten my message. Hey, I can hear you cheering about that. But today we're really here about celebrating our graduates. And even though it's been a journey like no other, your accomplishments are no less remarkable. Flashback to the fall of 2008, and most of you were just starting your formal schooling journey in kindergarten. You probably can't remember it, but your family certainly does. If you were the first child in kindergarten from your family, then you probably have a thousand photos of the year. Now, if you were the last child from your family to attend kindergarten, then you probably have just that one school photo to remember things by. In kindergarten, you were probably rocking your Kung Fu Panda t-shirt along with your new Wally lunchbox. Now, over the next 13 years, fashion, hairstyles, music trends, they've all changed. 
you shifted from learning to read to reading to learn. And your subject, your favorite subject, probably changed along the way. That is, except for a few of you, which have remained committed to either recess or lunch as your favorite class throughout your entire school career. Two points for that commitment. Fast forward another 25 years, and you too will sound like a boomer when you tell your family that you had it tough. You actually had to put a thing called a DVD in a machine before you could watch the movie you wanted. And they will not believe you when you tell them that you had to wait until the seventh grade before you got your first phone. It has been a journey. Now on this journey, you've had lots of people supporting you. Your family has been there through thick and thin, and forget just the unlimited Uber and built-in skip the dish service. Your family supported you when you didn't make that team that you were trying out for. When you weren't selected for that role you had poured your heart and soul into. When you made that not such a great decision, yep, yeah, they were there for you too. And let's not forget about that haircut. That was a disaster. That took some serious maneuvering on behalf of your family to get you to leave your room. And while you're transitioning onto new journeys, family is always family and they'll be there for you. Take some time during these graduation celebrations to say thanks to those supporters. Also along on the journey have been your teachers, your learning assistants, caretakers, coaches, counselors, the school secretaries and administrators, always working hard to help you be successful, even though at times it might not have felt like it. Shout out to all of our RVS staff that helped you to get to this point. Specifically, these past 15 months have been challenging. You've moved fully online. Many of you then moved back face to face only to have to isolate multiple times over the year. And while some of you stayed online all year, along all of this, so many things changed, and I am so sorry that you missed your grade 12 sports season, that you didn't have your chance to be the lead performer in that school drama performance or on the band, that you didn't get to go on that trip that grade 12ers traditionally go on or that service project that you really wanted to volunteer on. And even today's graduation is undeniably impacted by COVID. You didn't even get a chance to score 100% on the diploma exams. Okay, no one really missed that. Now you've had plenty of practice this past year and a little bit of building and practicing that resilience. You are getting better at shifting, pivoting, refocusing, and all of that will serve you well as you continue new journeys beyond high school. And while you've been armed with a bunch of facts and skills and knowledge, it'll be the ability to communicate, to problem solve, to advocate for yourself that'll probably serve you the best. Now don't panic if you don't have your next journey fully mapped out. Even Google Maps doesn't get it right all the time. Detours, adjustments, rerouting, and recalculation are all part of life. Give yourself permission to adjust the plan as things come up. Sometimes the best part of the journey are the unplanned stops or the spur of the moment road trips. As you embark on new journeys, it's important that you make, as you are making more of the decisions and taking that responsibility, it's okay to realize that you're going to make mistakes. All of us do. But it'll be how you recover from those mistakes which is most important. Now in closing, we are proud of our graduates and we're really excited about where your journey will take you and the contributions that you will make. Take care of yourself and each other on this journey called life. Thank you, Superintendent Luderback. Now we move to our school messages, starting with our principal, Mr. Ryan Reed. Mr. Reed is in his second year as principal of Burke Church High School. The school holds special meaning for him as he was a student here from 1996 to 1998. Later, he began his teaching career at Burt Church High School, having the honor of teaching here for three years. 15 years later, he was thrilled to have the opportunity to return here as principal, and we are happy to have him. Mr. Reed? Special guests, parents, colleagues, and most importantly, students, it is a privilege to address the graduating class of 2021. Graduates, congratulations on arriving at this juncture of your education. 13 years of learning deserves to be acknowledged. I am sure you'll have lots of conversations with your family in the days ahead, reflecting on how quickly time has gone. It feels like it was just yesterday you were starting at Burke Church as fresh-faced ninth graders, wondering what the big school had for you. Many of you didn't wait to find out as you dove into school clubs, leadership, academics, athletics, drama, music, and everything else that makes your high school's experience an enjoyable one. As I reviewed the names graduating this year, so many of you impacted the school beyond the classroom. 
You have left the school in a better place than you found it, and it's due to your leadership. Thank you. For the next part of my speech, I'll take you back to Mr. Smith's English class for a second to acknowledge the defining characteristics that I've seen in this specific graduating class. Perseverance is defined as continued effort to do or achieve something despite difficulties, failures, or opposition. When I think of the past two years, I've witnessed your class persevere through all of these things. Difficulties such as transitioning to at-home learning not once, but three times, and for some of you, more. Your positive attitude in the face of these difficulties rarely dissipated, and you kept your focus on your end goals. Throughout your time as a high school student, failures occurred. Whether it was in a difficult class, a relationship, a difficult game, a part in a play, a line in a song, you kept moving forward, determined to accomplish your goals. Optimism is defined as an inclination to put the most favorable construction upon actions and events, or to anticipate the best possible outcome. I encourage you to keep that inclination to look on these favorably. I can speak from someone who recently crossed the threshold into my 40s, and keeping that inclination to view things positively becomes challenging as you age. We live in a complicated world that often brings out the worst in people. Don't let the events of your day steal your joy. Be inclined to put a positive spin on your circumstances, believing that you have the ability to positively shape your world and that those who come that in to shape your world and that of those who you come into contact with. I've seen your optimism on display through many hallway conversations and grad check-ins, and I just would encourage you to keep that optimism. Scroll up. Scroll down a little. Which one right there. Our last word that I think of for you is courage. Defined as mental or moral strength to venture, persevere, and withstand danger, fear, or difficulty, courage is something that we have all had to display. I've seen you courageously enter your grade 12 year, not letting obstacles stop you from achieving your goals. Take this courage with you wherever you go and it will serve you well. Thank you for encouraging and inspiring me this year with your perseverance, optimism, and courage. I'd like to acknowledge the adults in your life who have helped get you to this point. Parents, guardians, thank you for your support throughout the journey. You have been wonderful partners to work with and I congratulate you on this day. Staff, thank you for your commitment to our students over the past four years. The number of changes you've had to endure along with them has been remarkable. Each time, you kept their success at the forefront and kept learning going. Thank you. Graduates, thank you for the impact you've made on the community at Burke Church High School. You have left it better than you found it, as mentioned earlier, and have positively impacted many along the way me included. We are excited to see where life takes you and know that wherever you go, you'll always have a home at Burke Church. Congratulations, Burke Church High School graduating class of 2021. Thank you, Mr. Reed. Each year, the graduates vote to select a teacher to address the graduates. This year, that honor goes to Ms. Belinda Cartwright, who has taught many of the 2021 graduates since their very first day in grade nine. So without further ado, here's Ms. Cartwright. Welcome family, friends, staff, and graduates. Where to start? There is so much in my heart that I want to share that I worry I won't be able to express it with enough eloquence or with enough emotion or with enough time to include all the events and moments that have brought you here. There is so much to say and to sum up these years in a few hopefully memorable words is a daunting task. So let's start at the beginning. I can't speak to your first nine years of school, the time before high school, but I imagine that it went something like this. In kindergarten, people who love you took you to school, watched you walk excitedly or reluctantly or determinedly into a new room, a new life with new experiences. People who love you went back to their cars or waited for the bus to leave before shedding their tears at the first fledgling steps you were making into a world that was no longer completely in their control. People who love you 
looked forward to your return so they could hear all about your first day, your first recess, your first lessons. And that pattern repeated every year with the same amount of excitement and trepidation. People who love you wanted to hear about the new teacher, the new classroom, the new friends, everything that was important and unimportant, troubling moments, the moments worth celebrating, and every moment in between. There were transitions from elementary to middle school where everything gained intensity. Some years were smooth sailing and others were filled with drama. There were friendships won and lost, grades earned, and sometimes not. And there were sports and clubs and field trips. And the people who love you watched and held their breath, there to catch you if you needed a safety net, there to che cheer you on as you began to take ownership of your own life, or at least try. The people who love you were there to champion on your behalf, and were there waiting to hear all about your ideas, your thoughts, your learning. And the people who love you sometimes went back to their cars or waited for the bus to leave before shedding tears as you took steps, made leaps and bounds into a future that was increasingly in your control. And then high school. Wide-eyed, you walked in. As grade nines, you were greeted by Link Crew, introduced to the staff, other students, the building, and a new schedule. All of it was different, and amazing, and overwhelming, and scary. The work, the expectations, and the grade 12s were intimidating and foreign, and the path for the next four years was filled with excitement and hope and uncertainty. There were once-in-a-lifetime events with leadership conferences, band trips, full-on drama productions, and your desire and ability to shine was infinite. And the people who love you watched as you worked and learned and gained your place at Burt Church. Grade 10 saw another level of commitment and growth. The academics got tougher and the rules changed with credits and graduation expectations. Your world and activities expanded with sports teams and commitments to jobs and a life outside of school. And the people who love you helped you grow and mature and navigate the highs and lows, the friends, the broken hearts, the successes, and the challenges. And then there was grade 11. Learning no longer took place in classrooms and the halls at Burt Church, but within your homes, isolated. This change, this momentous turn of events, will define your world. Zoom calls and curriculum delivery all occurred remotely. The people who love you watched and waited to see how you would react and handle this event, this shift, ready as always to support and provide if you needed it. And no doubt, the people who love you made room for you to grieve the loss of the life you knew. And here we are now. Grade 12 has been a mix of so many scenarios. We have been here and at home and left with partial classes, and it all changed from day to day. And the people who love you encouraged you to navigate these trouble spots because they know that your ability to handle a dynamic, evolving, unpredictable world is one of your greatest strengths. You've been doing it all along. And today, the people who love you will probably shed a few tears, not because they are worried for you or about you, but because of the courage and resiliency and excitement and determination with which you will move forward as you build and create your world. They are so proud and eager to see you embrace the possibilities and generate a life filled with experiences and friends and successes, and yes, even challenges. The staff of Burt Church is saying goodbye to a group of students who have brought us lessons, friendship, and helped us grow. We will miss sharing the troubling moments, the moments we're celebrating, and every moment in between. We will miss being there to catch you if you need a safety net and being there to cheer you on. We want you to know we are so proud of you. Today, grade 12s, as we say goodbye, I ask you for the last time to smile and nod. Not because a staff member has set your task, but because you are ready to greet the tasks you have set for yourself. And you should smile and nod because there are people who love you and who know you got this. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2021. It is my pleasure to introduce your 2021 graduating class valedictorian, Grace Rusk. She has earned her place here in her commitment to academics and in her commitment to the culture of Burt Church High School. Welcome, Grace. Hello, graduating class of 2021. For those of you that know me and for those of you that don't, my name is Grace Rusk and I have been honored to be selected as a valedictorian for this year. So as you can tell by the digitized format of this speech, this year and this graduation is a bit of a strange one, but to do as we've been doing for the past 18 months, we're just gonna roll with it. When I sat down to write this speech, I knew my one non-negotiable thing that I had to include was some humor. Now I very quickly realized that there are no live reactions to any of my jokes, 
So know that in my own head, I'm hilarious, but my hope is that I will, at least, make one of you at home laugh. I want to start with a centuries-old blessing amongst adults. May you live in interesting times. Now I'm sure many of us, after having lived through the textbook definition of interesting times, would beg to differ. I think we've had our share. We're good. We're happy to take a break from the interesting. At this point, many of us may even prefer to live in boring times, but I don't think that's necessarily true. Yes, we are living in times of viral danger, political shifts, climate breakthroughs, and mass uncertainty, but that, but the positive to all this is that it has given us perspective. We are invested and determined to make the world a better place. We are growing up and into adulthood on the cusp of uproaring change, and we are able to help precipitate that change. The world and the future are constantly changing, and we will be part of the driving force. Now I speak of us growing and venturing off into our own worlds, but I cannot fail to mention and thank those who have gotten us here. First and foremost, I want to thank all of our parents and guardians. Thank you for helping us guide us through our entire school career, from packing our peanut butter free lunches in kindergarten to supporting us through every late night study session in which we sorely miscalculated how well we knew what a logarithmic function even was and subsequently panicked the night before a unit test. Thank you for taking us on trips to the emergency... That's okay, keep going. Um, thank you for taking us on emergency trips to the store for poster boards and plasticine the night before a social island building project. Who knew we would construct so many island dioramas? You have given us all the tools you could to allow us to navigate through whatever life could throw at us, and you've taught us how to find the tools we didn't already have. Without all of your guiding influence, without your unconditional love, and without your constant support, we would not be the people who we are today. So for that, we thank you. Next, I would like to thank our teachers for being with us for every step of this roller coaster year. Thank you for recognizing the potential that every single one of us has and for helping to foster community where that potential was able to flourish. Thank you for dressing up for spirit days over Zoom, having killer rap battles, and volunteering to have a pie thrown in your face for, to fundraise. All of the staff at Bird Church are so wonderful and have helped us through our journey in high school. And lastly, I would like to expend, extend a special thanks to our principal, Mr. Reed. And having spoken to my peers, I know this is a sentiment shared among all of the graduating class. You have provided the school with such a warm and friendly atmosphere from the second you stepped into it. Your kindness, humor, and wit have inspired and touched us all. Your dedication to learning the names of the entire student body and finding a way to connect with each of us makes our walks down the hallways that much better. Thank you, Mr. Reed, for helping to make Bird Church a safe and wonderful place to learn and to be. I implore everyone listening to this speech at home to find someone who has helped them and to thank them too because all of our journeys were not walked alone. But I also want to extend a thanks to my fellow graduates, to this graduating class. We all have to realize how much we have grown and changed and matured in these interesting times and how proud we should all be of that. Think back to grade nine. And don't worry, we won't reminisce on ourselves from back then too long. I don't think any of us want to remember our behavior or our fashion choices from back then, but just trust me for a moment. I personally remember thinking that the layout of the school was confusing. I'd been in the school 10 minutes and I'd already forgotten my locker combo and the grade 12s were just so tall and everything was intimidating. Did I have social or science first period? Where is Mr. Verhees' room? Everything was new and we were just beginning to find our own way through it. But look at us now. In the span of four short years, we learned the secret to the layout of the school. It's a big circle. Some of us remembered our locker combos. Others just got cars and kept stuff in the trunk. And now we are the grade 12s, and everything feels a lot less intimidating. All of that change in four years. And now we'll be venturing out into another big change. We'll be venturing out into the world. Some of us will be going to post-secondary, some straight into the workforce. But one thing is for certain. What we soon will be facing will be new to all of us. At times like these, everyone has this sort of mix of being nervous and enthusiastic and apprehensive and excited, but we all have to remember, when we might be shifting towards being more scared and uncertain, think of how quickly we adapted and flourished from grade 9 to grade 12, from the classroom to school in our bedroom, all that change, all of that growth, and we managed to do it all the while dealing with fun teenage stuff like breakouts and breakups and overdue library books. We have already demonstrated our ability to succeed, and if we did it once, 
we surely can do it many more times. Now I'm going to make a bet here that some of you will be sitting at home watching this, glancing at your watches and wondering, how long will it take her to like explicitly mention the whole graduating during COVID thing? And I'll tell you about three paragraphs. This year, we've been given the opportunity to show our adaptability in all aspects. Finishing up our final year of high school during a global pandemic has had its challenges. We've gone online and in person, and we've only been able to see our friends over video calls or from two meters away. But all of this has taught us a valuable lesson that will continue to serve us into adulthood. We have been taught how to make the best out of the worst. In the face of everything, we haven't lost our earnestness, not one bit. Don't get me wrong, showing up to a 9 a.m. Zoom class as a grade 12 who can just about see the light at the end of the high school tunnel may not exactly fill you with zeal per se, but is, that isn't a way to measure our enthusiasm. We managed to seamlessly transition to online learning. We found ways to stay connected in a time that necessitates disconnection. And hey, not having to do any diplomas like at all has been a bit of a perk. I may be a science kid, but I am not complaining about missing my physics 30 final. Even though the details of what our graduation ceremony will look like have been undefined since the beginning of the year, that didn't stop us from looking forward. Even if looking forward involves buying a grad dress or suit we can't wear. And I know a whole bunch of you did it, all the grad dress Instagram posts are a testament to that. But hey, we don't need a stage to make us feel special. Throw in your gown and go for a walk down the street. Order some takeout and eat it in your suit and tie. Dance in your living room with your pet or something. All of these with a mask on though. I mean, we bought them, we may as well use them. <laughs> Let's celebrate the moment however we can. Maturing through a global pandemic has not stopped us from dreaming. Instead, it has fired us up more. We are more brave and more responsible and more empathetic and we'll be heading into the world full of eagerness and hope for the future because we know that we can and that we will play a major part in making it into the best we can. We head into a world that values and understands the values of connection, the values of education, and the values of tenacity and determination. And so, as I end my speech, I want to say, congratulations to all of us. We've done it. 13 years of schooling and all of our hard work and dedication is finally starting to pay off. The memories and connections we have made will last a lifetime. The legacy we leave behind is one of kindness and perseverance and compassion and wonder. I truly want to wish interesting times upon all of us. After all, we've shown that we can handle them. Our lives are just beginning, and I am so excited to meet the people we will all mature into, and I'm honored to be able to say that I've gotten to grow up beside all of you. So, from the bottom of my heart, I wish us all, the Bird Church graduating class of 2021, the best, because I know that we are destined for it. Thank you. On behalf of the 2021 graduating class, I would like to express my sincerest appreciation for all of our guests and for the messages they shared today. Although this day couldn't be held in person, I hope you've heard something here that will help make this day memorable for you. This year has been full of hardship, but we have matured as resilient individuals in this world. We are all starting unique adventures, but we will always be connected as the 2021 graduates of Burt Church High School.